Hello, my name is Dwayne Barnes, and I'm reading Re Rigoberto Gonzalez's Doppelganger. There once lived a girl who sang and danced, even in times of sorrow. She didn't answer to your name, but before her death, she wore your face. Tote bequeathed to her as well, like you. She inherited her small place. Such expediency of selection. The pasty stars collapsing to allow the other constellations room to expire in brightness but you needn't share her fate. You can live an entire life without succumbing to a flood. You can hum without gurgling beetle mud. You can sway without shivering neck deep in ten degrees, but borrow body in time you must vacate. Let another take your space. Don't worry about whom or when, since the girl who comes after is already here. Her breath, the cold carnation of frost, on the windows as you press your reflection to the glass. When you die, you'll kill the girls you used to be. As you live, you'll flaunt the genocide. Like lavender, fierce blossoming of beauty and mortality, the next assassin, cheesed in winter, rehearsing its inhale, exhale through the invisible nose. I read this poem a few times and I looked up the word doppelganger. It's a, German, it's a German word for double walker, which is a paranormal double of a living person, typically representing evil or misfortune. My understanding of the poem, uh, it took a while for me to create a foundation to really understand this poem. But what I'm getting from Gonzalez is, in the first stanza, there once lived a girl who sang and danced even in times of sorrow. I'm thinking that the young lady lives in an oppressive situation maybe Africa, somewhere in South, uh, South, uh, South America, and she's struggling to, to find happiness. And then the second stanza, she didn't answer to your name, but before her death, she wore your face. In the beginning, Gonzalez is writing for O Maria Sanchez, and I think he's making a correlation between Sanchez and the young ladies from either Africa or South, uh, South America. But one part that I did find very interesting was, let another take your space. Don't worry about whom or when, since the girl who comes after is already here. Her breath, the cold carnation of frost, on the window as you press your reflection to the glass when you die. The first thing I thought about was the diary of Anne Frank. So what I take from this poem is that it's a, it's a situation of oppression, uh, no matter the race or the gender. That young ladies that are suffering from oppressive situations like the Holocaust or genocide in Africa, Sanchez probably suffered through the same uh, situation. So Gonzalez is trying to make a correlation between the relationship he has with Sanchez and the different the young ladies within the poem. My favorite part of the poem was, she's the winter rehearsing its inhale, exhale through the invisible nose. I see this part of the poem as Sanchez, uh, Sanchez is looking in the mirror and she's seeing her evil counterpart, the reflection. So this is my interpretation of Doppelganger by Rigoberto Gonzalez. Thank you.